Hello everyone, my name is Laith al Shamale, and today we'll be reviewing uh, the geotechnical engineering portion of the fundamentals of engineering exam for the civil discipline. This is my contact information if anyone has any suggestions. So we'll start off with this question uh, which has to do with soil classification. So here we are given that a sample has the following gradation curve results. The number 10, 74% passing, number 40, 52% passing, number 200, 30% passing, a liquid limit, plastic limit is given. And they're asking for the ASTO classification of the soil. So the ASTO classification of the soil is a classification that is mainly used by the Department of Transportation or the DOTD. So just quickly, a gradation curve is a curve that looks like this. It has a grain size on the x-axis. It has a percent passing on the y-axis. And it can look something like this and what you basically do in what is called a sieve analysis uh, test is you have uh, a bunch of sieves stacked with uh, bigger ones or bigger opening size on top and then as you go down you will have a sieve that has a smaller opening size. And you'll put a certain amount of soil at the top sieve, and then you'll allow uh, sieves which are stacked by bigger sizes in the top portion, and then as you go down, the opening size will get smaller. And this will basically allow us to find out what percent of the soil is of a certain a grain size. And the most important distinctions that we have is here we have gravel and where gravel ends is the number four sieve which has an opening size of 4.75 millimeters so number four is referring to the the sieve and then here is the grain size and anything above this is gravels and boulders and then we will have a bunch of sieves stacked up all the way down to number 200 and that is an opening size of 0 0.075 millimeters and here we have sand now anything Passing the number 200 sieve is considered fines. Silts and clays. So that's that's the three main distinctions and the sieves that allow us to uh, to make this distinction now here we have a number 40 in our question and we're given a percent passing number 40 is somewhere in here so number 40 is somewhere in here and it has let me and this sieve has an opening size of two millimeters. And you plot the results of this curve, on, uh, you plot 
the results of this test on this curve on the left hand side, this curve, and that's known as a soil gradation curve. This has to be log scale, and this is percent passing. Now, this is a good background for you to just understand what's, what is this, or what are these givens? What do they mean? And now we can move to solving the question. So, again, we're going to the FE manual. This will be on your left-hand side of your screen. And this is version 9.5 of the FE reference manual. And the Ashto system is on page 156. Now, if we take a look at this uh, Ashto classification system, The way you use this is you start with the left-hand side. So you start here. And then you move to the right and do a check. So see what, what data you have in your question and does it match. If it matches the first, you keep going down. If it doesn't, you'll move to the right. Basically, we have granule material within a1, A3, and A2 soils. And then we have silt clay material in A4, A5, A6, and A75, A76. So that's the basic distinction. And here we have percent passing these sieves. Uh, what was in our question? Or let me do this. Uh, let me take this to our question. So we don't have to jump back and forth. So I hope this is clear. Now, what's going on? Stop. Okay. Okay, so now we, we have it. Now the first thing that we are given is passing uh, the number 10. So we have 74% uh, passing the number 10. And we'll go here and we'll say 74%. What is the number 10? It's right here. So we start again from left to right. We go this way. Now 70 is greater than 74% uh, is greater than uh, 50. So we can't use this. So we'll move over to A1B. Then we'll go down. And notice when we go down, we're not no longer looking at the number 10 sieve. Now we're looking at the number 40 sieve. So our number 40, we have 52%. Now 52% is greater than uh, 50%. So we can use this. So again, we'll go to the right hand side. And then we have 52% is greater than so that checks out for the number 40 sieve. Now we take a look at the number 200 sieve, what is passing that we have 30%. So 30% over here, that doesn't apply, right? That's greater than 10. So what do we have to do? we have to move over. Now we have 35%. So 35% is greater than what we are given, the 30. So we keep 
going down now. And we check the liquid limit. Liquid limit is 40. So what is our liquid limit? It's 25. So 25 is less than or equal to 40. So that's good. We keep going down. What do we have here? We have a plasticity index. That is less than or equal to 10. Now, what is our plasticity index? Plasticity index is equal to the liquid limit minus the plastic limit. And in our case, we have 25 minus 14. That is what? 11. And so 11 for the plasticity index is greater than 10. So 10 is not greater than 11. So we can't use this. So now we move to A25. Now this condition is satisfied. We know that our number two, 200, uh, passing the number 200 is 30%. But the liquid limit that we have is 25. So it's not greater than 41. So we can't use this. So we go to this, to this soil. So the, passing the number 200, what do we have? We have 30%. That's fine. And then the liquid limit 40 is greater than the 25 that we're given. That's also fine. How about our plasticity index? We have 11. And this is greater than, greater than or equal to 11. So we found it. Our soil is A26 in this case. A26. So that checks out. Now... That's fairly simple. Again, you have to go from left to right. And then when you go from left to right, you have to be careful that you are checking each row. And then when you're moving down, you make sure that you're no longer looking at the same percent. You're now looking at a different one. So it takes a little practice, I guess. And then you'll be able to use this with no problem.